This is Jackie. I'm here with your all access interview with Cage the Elephant on day one of Kentucky's Firefly. Not Firefly. Oh, no. <laughs> Take two. <laughs> I've been doing way too many of these interviews. Oh, you're so hot. Fine, fine, fine. This is Jackie. I'm here with your all access interview with Cage the Elephant on day one of Kentucky's Forecastle Festival. And you guys are just around the corner. You're locals, technically, right? Yes. We, um, we're from Bowling Green, which is about, I think, two hours from here. Yeah. It's a pretty small city, so uh, Louisville was always the city where we were like, let's go to the big city yeah. and have some nightlife. Or Nashville. Yeah, or Nashville. Both of them, yeah. yeah. So wild. Yeah. <laughs> when you're driving around Bowling Green or on your drive up here, what are some radio stations that you listen to? Um, oh, Johnny on the spot. I don't know. I always, I always just stick the iPod in, not to... <laughs> no, yeah. I, I don't know. I just drive and let it pick up whatever it picks up. There you go. Fair enough. The best one, the best, I will say the best radio stations are always when you're like kind of driving through the mountains in Kentucky and there are these backwoods like, uh, like bluegrass station. It's like, oh, 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 oh. it all sounds like it's off of, uh, oh, brother, where art thou? (laughs) Those are, those are amazing stations. And then, and you'll never, you never find them again if if you go back. Uh, when did you guys know that you wanted to make music your profession? Um, we still haven't made that decision yet. <laughs> That's a lot of commitment. So. Never grow up. <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't know. I think, like, um, it just kind of happened. We started uh, making music, and you don't think of it as a career or as a profession in the beginning. I guess it becomes that the more you do it. So. I, don't, I don't think we ever made our minds up about that. I think it chose us. <laughs> yeah. It was destiny. No, I'm just, I'm just, oh, it's wow. so magical. So deep, Brad. <laughs> I have a habit of doing that lately today. I don't know. Like we're spring, just, no, we're just getting, we're magic. just bringing out the deep, bringing yeah, out yeah. the deep. I don't know. Um, well said. <laughs> what are some of the festivals you guys have already played this summer? Uh, we did Firefly, um, Bottle Rock. Uh, what else, Brad? Um, uh, this festival. Yeah, this will be another this one. This will be another one. Uh, Sloss Festival. Um, I think that's about it. We really haven't done much because we're working on a new record. That'll be something that fans are going to be happy to hear. How do you make sure that you leave a lasting impression with fans when you're playing a festival, when fans didn't necessarily come out to see one specific band? They're kind of enticed by lots of new sounds. Uh, pyro technique. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I like... I don't think you ever go into a performance thinking that. I think that um, you just try to um, try to to be real in the in the material and. You never um, want to go into a, a thing with a, like a a pre-planned out performance and like how are we going to treat I'm this crowd? Take this crowd by storm tonight. <laughs> that's that's when things are go downhill. Yeah. So uh, yeah, like Matt said, I think it's just more of let, you know let, letting the not yeah totally. Your way into being spontaneous. I, I can appreciate that. So uh, you mentioned that you're currently working on an album. Uh, 2013's Melophobia had some really good radio hits, uh, Come a Little Closer, Spiderhead. Um, where in the process of the new record are you right now? Are you writing, recording? We're mixing. Yes. Mixing. <laughs> We're mixing, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so when it came to writing songs, are they more autobiographical or are they sort of inspired by things you see? I think every song, whether or not it's like a topical song or, um, or just about uh, like inward thoughts and feelings, um, I think they're all to a certain degree autobiographical. But um, I don't know. I feel like I didn't answer the question, but did answer the yeah, question. Yeah, you said sometimes. So sometimes, or so you I, know. I think it's it's a little bit of both. Okay. What's the toughest part? You said you're mixing now. What's the toughest part of the recording process? Settling, I think. <laughs> Going, I like, you know, we, we've fine-tuned it enough. You don't want to keep yeah, picking. That's, that's yeah. totally the hardest part. Fair enough. Um, what's up next for you guys after this festival and maybe a couple more? Really just to, to finish the record, um, and then we're releasing it hopefully somewhere around December the 18th, and that's that's really the, all that's on the schedule. That sounds nice. Yeah. We'll stay tuned for much more, especially that new album from Cage the Elephant. This is Jackie, thanks to All Access and In the Key of Change. Great. If you guys will come over, please, really quick, to.